So it seems the only series I have left to play is Resident Evil 6. Well, you know what I have to say about that, folks? Let's be honest. No. No, I have to break that up into larger increments before I get back to that. So welcome to Monster Hunter Rise! Sunbreak! Uh, I recently got this for the PS5 because uh, I do not like playing it on the Switch. Uh, I don't like the Switch controller when it comes to Monster Hunter games. So, uh, as you see here, we have this Edgelord, uh, HR4, Hunter Rank 4. But, I've only been playing on the Hunt, the, 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 the Gatherer Hub, that's the word I'm thinking, the Hub missions. Which, I mean, kind of are story, but mainly are not. So, I have not touched the main game. So, we shall experience Monster Hunter Rise together, even though I've already gone through the beginning of this. We can enjoy some things. And I'm actually strong enough where we can kind of tear through the small guys very quickly. Also, yes, I am great sword main, but I also like the bow guns. Let's go. Also, yes, it is confirmed. Goblin. He is beautiful and I love him. And this is Eddie, because uh, every Monster Hunter, I have a black cat named Eddie. Let's go! Uh, so we need to speak to the Maiden, because she is going to give us our missions. Hello, Hinoa. How are you today? I am doing fine. Let's see what we got here. Are you serious? <laughs> Wait a minute. Okay, one second. Let me get some good missions. Alright, I've done doing the very menial tasks that they have left for me, and apparently, uh, Yomogi over at the tea shop has been looking for you. Also, uh, just so you guys aren't confused, I'm a new hunter, according to these people, and, uh, we're, they're just busting my chops, showing me the ropes and everything, and that's why I had a bunch of easy missions. She seemed upset over something, check on her, would you? So now, hopefully, we can actually, you know, see some cool monsters and such, but first, Gonna get my setup back in order. Thank you very much. And... Okay, what's the worst news ever? Alright, have you heard? Terrible news? Merle emergency! Uh, bit my tongue. Alright, uh, Great Izuchi is tearing up the Shrine Ruins. It's carnage! Okay, slighter exaggeration. It's really a great Izuchi. But there really is a Great Izuchi. It's parked its stupid monster butt right in our trade route. Please get rid of it! Uh, if you don't, my supply of Dango ingredients won't be delivered. Please? Oh, thank you. I love you. Okay, hunting request. Alright. So we're going to deal with a great Izuchi, but first, we need to eat. As is a traditional monster hunter, we need to have food in our bellies so we can destroy our enemies. So, I'm going to do my standard. We'll do a little medic, a little defender, a little polisher. And for you guys, let's enjoy Dango. The Dango's being made. <clears throat> I don't know if I trust my food getting cooked by cats, but... <laughs> Adorable. Enjoy the dongo. Ignore the cat hair. Don't worry about it. They're not cats, technically. They're palicos, so don't be concerned by it. Or felines. I'm sorry, they're felines. Palicos are the hunting kitties that are with you. But there you go. I have non-food. Ooh, I got all of the things. <laughs> That's hilarious how I got all the things because I do not need all of them for this. Uh, yes, I guess it's real bad. One second, honey. Uh, I accidentally called Owl. Well, come forth, Owl. I'm calling you. Even if it's by accident. Bird. Hello, bird. I guess we will feed bird. This is Artemis. Here you go. Eat. To your heart's content. Tiny child, I love you. Thank you, bird. Thank you, bird, for your companionship. And now, there is no option to pet you. So leave me alone. Goodbye. I'm gonna go to my bedroom before I start things. Eh. There we go. Oh, wait a minute. Apparently, someone got anything to say to me? Oh, wait, yeah, you. Never mind. <laughs> we'll be back. We're going to the hub prep area because I find it's faster. Talk to my housekeeper. Just make sure everything is good to go. Yeah, we're still good. All right. Don't worry about that. Let us find the great Izuchi. Urgent mission. An urgent quest. Take care of ASAP. Real bad if you don't. Things are looking grim. There's great Izuchi. 
Uh, it's not on any trade route. It's the ones that used to make Buddy Dango, and we need it. Hmm. All right, I get it. You want me to save your your like marshmallow food? There it is. All right, so um, I'm just gonna get a few of these on here. Thank you. And so I, I I basically picked berries and killed a couple of these guys, which is literally nothing. One swing of the sword. Let's go. Great Azuchi, the Great Pain. Let's go. <coughs> I've been saving these ones because all the monsters get lovely cutscenes. I don't want you to miss them. That's why I was doing the hub. I wanted to kind of refamiliarize uh, refamiliarize myself because I did actually play the Switch one for quite a bit, but you know, trading out for something better. That's a Garwa. Oh really? <laughs> Cause that's a big duck. Yep, chase the prey. <sighs> and now you're stuck. You're going to die. They eat duck. Oddly traumatic for the most basic monster in this game, but all right, let's go. We're gonna beat up monsters, folks. But first, I gotta get my free stuff. So uh, it, 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 I'm just grabbing it because it's free. I really don't need it. But I'll keep the uh, first aid meds up just in case. Let's go. I'm ready to travel like Spider-Man. And now I'm going to ride Goblin because he's just a little bit faster than I am. Come on, buddy. Now, as you can see here on the map on the bottom left corner, we already know where our prey is there towards the middle of the map. So I'm going in this direction because, quite frankly, I don't want to go through the water path. It's a little slower, especially since I'm not too used to it. Uh, if, if there's one sin I do have in Monster Hunter, it's unless I've played the map like a billion times, I still have issues navigating them. Like in World, I used to be fine, but for the longest time, I needed to be led around by my friends. But, uh, I think we're already here. There they are, our prey is in the distance. And I'm going to show you the typical Mr. B opener. Just going to grab these extra tidbits. Just come up behind, sneak up upon them. Goblin jump, I jump, charge the sword, and battle begun. And then I just keep up the defensive. I'm actually, I am the master of the block. But I'm going to block again because I am stuck in position where I can't reach him. Get over here, big guy. I'm going to kill you now. Don't run away. Get back here. Ugh. We're fighting cowards. Bring on. Thank you. And he's already dropped a goodie for me, but let me just charge this up first. One and two. Already broke his skull. It is amazing. Yes, yeah, so if you never played Monster Hunter before, you can actually break pieces of different monsters. Like, uh, a lot of the basic ones are like, there's stuff on their limbs, maybe stuff on their stomach if they're armored, like their heads and things like that. Definitely a lot of them have uh, tails that can be removed. Now, not the Great Azuchi, uh, because uh, that's a main part of his skeleton, and you actually, <laughs> they, they can't do it because it's one of its main attacks. Also, our prey is weak and ripe for capture means this boy is literally about to die already. I've been fighting him for like, what, three minutes? One, charge up. I do that because that gives me this super charge attack and plus I can be defensive with it. Now let's hope this hits properly. Pah, and dead. Like I said, most basic of the bunch. Eh. I hate the camera does this though. <laughs> And just carve him for pieces, which we're going to use to make various weapons and armor bits. Not this guy specifically, because he is terrible, but that's the general how we get upgrades in Monster Hunter. We want to gather nice pieces so we can make cool armor. And, uh, yeah, if you guys buy, a, like, uh, Monster Hunter Rise with the DLC and everything, uh, you get this for free. It is a arm, it's not an armor set, it's a layered armor set, so it goes over your regular armor, so you can still have fashion while, like, uh, having, like, armor bits that will give you abilities that you actually want, so I'm picking this until, um, 
we get better options because basically uh, the game gives you stuff to help you just tear through uh, the base game because yeah the base game is all the way up to high rank but uh, I believe the DLC Sunbreak introduced master rank so yeah until that point I don't really need to change armor unless like I find something noticeably better but it's probably gonna be high rank that that happens in all this stuff nada I, I I gotta be lucky I gotta hope that at least some of those pieces can go into a sword that's all I can hope for or a gun but I'm um, I don't know maybe I'll use my gun every once in a while maybe I'll just start beating monsters to death with my gun you think that might be silly, but no, I have used that as a fighting style. Can't say I've seen anyone put more enthusiasm in hunting Great Azuchi. I killed that thing in three minutes. <laughs> uh, real talent, other hunters, shame. Who could be? Eh, rambling on, pretend you heard nothing. And now you can do two star quests. Let's go. And now I have sales going on. So when that happens, make sure to visit the lottery, get free stuff. Okay, we got a shock trap, which is very useful. Flash bombs, sonic bombs. This is stuff we could use for hunting. Like, uh, the traps will hold monsters in place for you, while, um, like, the bombs could be used to interrupt monsters, like flash bombs blind them, while um, sonic bombs can interrupt monsters, but it's, like, specific kinds. Welcome back. Uh, it's been hunted and greetings have been delivered safely. Back to the usual routine. Now you can do two star quests. So, before we do that, let's just take a look real quick. Did I get anything I want? Uh, this is my current greatsword. This is the, um, the DLC, like, uh, just like quick and easy weapon, the Defender set. As you can see here, it starts with 110, while the sword you start with starts with 50. So you could just use this to tear through things. So I'm at 190 right now. It's the best sword I can have right now. I can make this, though? Oh, I could just make that sword if I wanted to. I don't want to, though. There are some advantages. It's got a slot, so I could put skills on it, but 190. And 30 defense bonus, so we're not going to worry about that. Let's see here. I know there's a great Izuchi weapon. Where is it in this mess? I might not be able to make it, to be fair, because um, if I could, there'd be green showing. Let me see. No, that's a jaggy weapon. Which I can't make, because I can't make this. Uh, let's see here. Just ignore the random names I say for a moment. Um, I'm just trying to find... Oh, come on. I know there's an Izuchi weapon. Serpent blade. Oh, wait. There you go. The Izuchi tree. So, I do have one, but... I need another tail to make another one, like to make the upgrade. So that's kind of the point of Monster Hunter, is just like getting the bits and bobs so you can get different weapons and armor. Now, armor's not that important, but we can still wor work on getting better weapons because while the weapon I'm using is good, uh, its sharpness, that little meter on there, determines how long it stays sharp before you have to like, uh, uh, well, sharpen it with a whetstone because some monsters are heavily armored or some monsters are so har armored that like I have green sharpness I'd still bounce off of monsters that I hit at least certain parts of them So bad thing is we're looking at green sharpness and I do have like access to like blue in fact You know, what? I'm just gonna make this I can just make this and this I can turn into this Okay, so I think I'm gonna just make this. So, forge it. And I'll equip it. Why the heck not? I haven't used a new sword in a while. And I can put a decoration on this. I don't have any, but like, as you can see here, you can make decorations and they have different abilities. Now, from what I see here, there's a few options I can make already. Uh... I think, actually, I'm going to get the carver because, I'm not going to lie, it can be very annoying sometimes to uh, be battling and, like, just little monsters stop you from carving big monsters. So I'm going to just put that on the sword so I don't have to deal with that. And look at that. Look how nice that is on my back. So, um, also, we have our own room. So let's visit our room real quick because... Um, 
I have little buddies out for me, little cat friends and little dog friends getting me stuff. As you can see here, they've gone through all this and they have gotten me a whole bunch of goodies. So when you get the option, you can send your pals to basically get you bits and bobs. So always, when, as soon as you can, you go on and get the immersionaries. And if you want to do that, there's the, um, well, there's the pal area. I can actually show you that real quick. Let me just pick something to send out. I want, I don't want any of these, do I? Um, I guess in that case, I'm going to go with, can we, should we get weird? I'll go for, I know I'm being very indecisive here. I'm looking for the most herbivores. I think I'll just go with that. Why do I want herbivores? There's a reason. Okay, uh, let's visit the pals. Uh, so we're going to go to the Buddy Plaza. And this is where you go to deal with, like, meowcenary stuff. And uh, as you see here, I have a bunch of bunnies. A bunch of buddies trading on a uh, Kappa robot. But yeah, you can hire buddies from this person, both the dogs and the cats. The Palamutes and the Palicos. Um, here is where you can send out your meow scenarios so they can go on missions for you. And, uh, this is the Argasi where you can send traders out. So, like, as you can see here, I have someone getting me thunderbugs. Now I'm getting thunderbugs because those make shock traps, which can be very useful in battle, either to hold an enemy steady or just because I want to catch something alive, which is entirely possible. You want to be pacifist in Monster Hunter? Um... You can do it most of the way. There are exceptions, though. Elder dragons cannot be captured. But let's go. So what are we going to do? What are we going to do? We have a bear. We have um, another raptor. We have... Oh, wait, no. These are small raptors. This is a big raptor. So we have another raptor. We have a bunny rabbit. And that seems to be it. So, obviously, we got to go with the fun ones. Let's start with the bear. So we go to Bear. We need Dongos because, uh, you know, they give abilities. Plus, they increase your health and such. So, wait a minute. I got to sit down, idiot. Oh, but she had a ticket for me, so it's fine. So what I'm going to do is since I do have... Oh, wait a minute. I'm going to get that. I, got I earned a new one from doing that mission. Okay, good, good, good. Polisher. Feet. Yeah, let's do this. I'm hoping for the carver, because if I can get extra carvings, that's great. Yes, I got carvings. So maybe we'll get some extra out of this bear. All right, let's go. We are going to deal with bear. It's called Azurus, and it is bear. Now load a little faster, please. I wonder how many big monsters I can take out in an hour. We are going to skip some small missions, though, because, yeah. I don't think you're going to want to watch me gather stuff, so. Yes, yeah, show bear. He is heavily, heavily armored, scaled, tongue. Dude is obsessed with honey. He wished to eat more fish. You're being awfully dramatic for a bear eating a fish. Bloodlust incarnate. It is a bear eating a fish. <laughs> yes, we're going to be scared of this bear. And by that, I mean no. Because, uh, yeah, no. But, as always, grab your free stuff. If it says, oh, just so you know, um, easy rations, first aid meds, you can't keep them and easy flash bombs, so if you get easy things, uh, try to use them, because you're not going to take them home with you. But the, some of the missions do give you things that you can take home with you, so take advantage of that if you're, you know, broke. <laughs> but if you do get the DLC, you start with a lot of items that you can sell for a lot of money. I think it's like gold eggs and silver eggs and stuff like that. 
So, yeah, if you do get uh, Monster Hunter Rise with Sunbreak, they do at least give you a head start. And um, that's good for me in this kind of situation because I do not want to waste your time with, like, taking forever to kill these little things. Which, I mean, they're cool monsters, but there's better versions of them. You can fight better versions of them in high rank, and you can fight, fight better versions of them in master rank. But I don't think you get to see the cutscene, so we are enjoying the low rank for that. But here we go, we've got bear, I jump off with dog, and I completely miss. <laughs> don't worry about it. I'm not scared of bear. I'm going to just... Ooh, wait a minute. <laughs> get out of the way. Sometimes I miss, but it's okay. As long as I don't get in the way of bear claws, we're good. Okay, get this ready. And also, I like using that move because it counts as a block, so it does defend me. But not only that, but it gets me ready for that charge move, which you keep seeing me do. But also, um, it makes it like... I could do this three times to get a like super charge, and it's not even as strong as you can see here. But it takes some time because it takes some time to swing the sword. So if you go this, and then you do this... You're defended during that <laughs> I'm trying to teach people about how to use great sword, Arzuros. You're very rude. Ow. Fine. I will take you a little more seriously. Here you go. I block. Block. Oop. Okay. I'm trying to show the block move and I'm timing it terribly. Also, yeah, you could just block with the great sword, so don't think you just have to use that, but... Alright. Arzuros, look at me. There we go. All right, come on. Um, this move also inflicts stun damage because blunt weapons do like stun to enemies' heads and stuff like that. Ugh. But yeah, you saw at least a little earlier, I made a clang noise and didn't really take damage or fall over. My sword blocked the bear. Come on, bear. One. See, he tried to hit me with his butt and I blocked it. Two. And hit the bear booty. All right. Okay, for this guy, I think he's lucky. We're gonna capture this guy just to show you how you can take out a monster without ending its life. See, it's already ripe for capture. So I'm gonna do this. There you go, that flash bomb blinded him. I'm gonna place, ugh. I'm gonna place down the shock trap. And now you just put some trank bombs. It takes about two. Mission over, monster safely put away. But don't worry, you don't have to carve them to get the stuff. And I realized I just wasted that carving that I literally just got from Dongos for capturing this guy alive. But it's fine, because apparently capturing them, uh, they may... V they may humanely get some uh, parts off of them. I'm not promising they didn't vivisect the creature, but uh, after capturing, we still get bits and bobs. So you don't have to worry about missing out. As you can see here, Azra shell, brace, some bones, pelt. Um, yeah, so I didn't take them to a butcher shop to just uh, more thoroughly uh, uh, discombobulate them, I promise. Also, that only took three and a half minutes. <laughs> Ignore the fact that I just got bones. It's all good. We got those humanely. Not every creature needs all of their bones, right? Right? They ignore me. All right, uh, there's a sale going on. Get my lottery on. Thank you. Ah, same thing as last time. I'm not complaining. Oh, it's saying I can sell decorations. Whatever. All right, so back to this. As you see here, I've kept some of the things like the ammo I grabbed and stuff like that. And also like random berries and stuff I grabbed turn into ammo. There we go, we got that going on. And you know what? Considering how quickly I'm doing this, let's try a different weapon type. We're going to use the heavy bow gun. And I want to use this one because it's fun. And I'm not going to fire a single round, I'm just going to beat my enemy to death with it because I am twisted that way. But yes, we're going to need some ammo, so we just grab everything that doesn't have an X over it, or, you know, 
what sounds the most fun to use, like sticky ammo explodes, cluster bombs, well, I think we can understand what that means. Uh, we'll grab these elemental ammo, some slicing ammo to tear off enemy body parts, wyvern ammo, poison ammo, just got a bunch of stuff. Recover ammo does not matter because I do not have any teammates and I do not plan to have any. Maybe one day. Will any of you be my friends? Either way, I'm going to beat things to death with a gun now. Don't question me. It's a good day for a hunt. Yes, it is. So, we have another raptor and a rabbit. Let's do the raptor first. Because if, if, if I'm going to beat something to death with a gun, it's going to be a monster I fundamentally don't respect. So, um, let's see here. Aww. Is that a limited time thing that I could grab? It doesn't happen all the time. Well, it'll probably come back. Uh, weakener weakens my enemies. Defender increases my defense. And feet, because I don't like getting knocked down. Okay. And we got all three. Very nice. Alright, let's beat a raptor to death using a gun. And I kid you not, I if I if it's entirely possible, if I don't accidentally misclick and accidentally fire a bullet, I will kill this monster by just beating it to death with my gun. And you will watch me, and you will question my sanity. But let's go. We're gonna get out of Hunter rank two very quickly, I think. Popos. Yes, those are popos, and those are baggies. Yes. You notice a uh, similarity to the Izuchi I just killed? <laughs> yes. They clearly have meat still, so why are they killing you? They just want fresh food. Yes, he just spit on you. So what happened there is the great baggy, as well as all bra baggies, uh, the cunning usurper, usurper as the game calls him, uh, their spit puts things to sleep. It's an anesthetic. So don't get spit on. Pretty plain and simple. So this is the heavy bow gun. This is the gun bash. That's all everything I need to tell you. Let me just double check something. R2 does fire a shot. So just don't press R2 while I have my gun out. Let's go. Run like the wind. Now, as you can see here, the bunny rabbit is also in play, but that counts as a separate mission. So we can't, well, like I could totally just kill it right now for fun, but I don't want to waste your guys' time. I, I, I'm doing this so you guys can see the cool cutscenes and everything. Uh, this is a jewel, a jewel lily pad or something like that. It lets you place bugs, and you can use the bugs to Superman fly, and that's what I'm gonna do, because shortcut, hell yeah. And uh, you may notice uh, there's a bunch of random glowing things in Monster Hunter. You do want to grab things like ores and stuff and bugs, and these birds because these birds actually make your stats better. And there's an owl here, which is actually very rare. Uh, they call it Lucky Life, but basically... Ooh, it's right there. If you grab them, they do things like, yeah, maybe you'll strike it rich. They give you money bonuses when you win. So, like, it doesn't matter because I got the DLC, but I think it, like, doubles the amount of money you get. So, if you have a chance to get those, you might want to grab those because... Well, making money, like making weapons, making armor, you want to make sure you have a constant supply of money, especially um, if you also want to get things like potions and ammo and stuff. Like money is king in this game, unless you want to actually make your own ammo. But I mean, that takes time. If you want to spend your time gathering berries and nuts to make bullets better, like good, more power to you. But you do start with infinite normal ammo and um, as you can see here, um, well, you can either buy ammo or you could do my option, which is uh, hit them in the face with your gun. So I'm, I'm slow, but I'm going to do this. And as you see here, there's those sparks. That means I'm hitting him in the head with a blunt weapon, which means that he gets knocked down. And uh, 
Yeah, this is my fighting style. I already broke his skull. At least I broke that crest on top of his head. You notice it's kind of a, it's no longer like a, uh, like a horn, like it was pointy. Now the tip is missing. Get over here. You're not allowed to run away from me. I am beating you to death with my gun. You get back here. Uh, ignore the purple spit. It's those flying things trying to poison me. And I also got to worry about his spit because he'll try to put me to sleep. But yeah, we're just going to do this. And this is the heavy bow gun. The light bow gun lets you move at like a regular speed, but I don't think it hits as hard when you do this. But you can still do this. It's just, I don't think it's as effective. There you go. That's what I was worried about. I didn't want to get hit with that spit, so we're all good. There you go. He just can't handle it. He can't handle it. It's too much damage for him. Bring it on. What are you going to do? Oh, no. I'm so scared. Eh. I'm going to break your body with my gun. Ow. You did nothing to me. Take the gun. Accept guns into your life. Yes. See, he's already getting weak. But just keep hitting him in the face with the gun. Everything will be okay. This is the right way to hunt monsters. You don't need to buy bullets. Bullets are unnecessary in Monster Hunter. Just hit them with your gun. Okay, I'm going to put this... What buttons to put the gun away? I'm not used to putting the gun away. <laughs> there you go. Square puts the gun away. Get close. There you go. These fish are actually making me stronger as they swim through me. Die. And I have killed the monster using only a gun. Now, for fun, I hit circle because uh, you can put in a special ammo and do this. But I did not. Because I disrespected him so hard, I killed him by just gun bashing. So, give me your goods. Thank you. I stole a sleep sack. We got more sleep sacks. Well, I hope I have a sleep weapon I can make. And great baggy hide. Very wonderful. Alright, guys. We're leaving the body. Let's go. Yeah, I only need three pieces of the monster and then I'm done with it. We're just gonna go. I'm gonna ride on my dog. We're gonna go really fast. Oh, wait a minute. I'm gonna put a bug there. Yeah, jewel lilies. Let's see how far we go with this one. Beautiful. And there's another one. Try to put them because I think they stay there after you put them. And I think that worked because I heard a weird, a weird EA bug noise. All right, so what do we get from that? Uh, more hides, sacks, claws. I got his crest. I got two of his crests. Very good. Now, do, can I make anything with Baggy? As you can see here, Fortune Owl Feather, 100%, so I got double money. Which does not matter because, well, look at my money and, well, this was only like a thousand bucks, so. Either way, we have one target left, Bunny Rabbit. This time I will actually shoot the rabbit. Mostly because, uh, well, I'm sure you want to see what, you know, the different possibilities for these weapons are and while greatsword is very much a run one trick pony which i don't consider that as a disadvantage it means it's uh you know you don't have to m memorize a million combos like with uh, the uh, long sword but yeah um bullets you gotta be a little more strategic with them they don't hit as hard i guess he's fine dojo all my my guys are done training very good i was training them for a reason we're going to go to the Argasi. I'm going to grab all of these bugs. Thank you, buddy. Trade request. We're going to do a new trade. And I'm going to put someone who has a high level. Wait a minute. Can I not send them because they're set to the dojo? Oh, yeah, they're set to the dojo. Okay, so... We're gonna just, there we go. No. We're just gonna keep it like that. Now, we're gonna put someone of a decently high level. Uh, you'll do fine socks. And what we need, well, there's a few things we could use, but um, I'm thinking in my situation, uh, spider web is kind of annoying to find. 
Like, out of all the things, I think, yeah, spider webs are probably the most annoying. Uh, so we're gonna set them. And uh, we could use special abilities because they are of a certain level. So Sox is able to do things where, let's see, Relentless Hagen increasing the items obtained. Uh, number of uh, t items in trade slightly. Rare items, 25. Number of items obtained increases moderately at level 30. 35. Okay, so I do want to keep, um, I do want to keep, um, leveling these guys up. So, you want to make sure you've got very strong kitties and doggos to get you things. So, auto-select buddies. I want more buddies. Do I have more buddies to select? Wait, is that all the buddies I have access to? No, I got dogs. Send dogs. Alright. So, we have buddies. We have this. They're going to keep training. We need very powerful animals to do our drug deals. But, yeah, let's see. Um, I'm not looking at the bow gun. Did we get anything for the great sword? Because that is my signature weapon. Uh, we technically did. Let's see. But I have this family. So there's this one, which I have not even fought the monster you can get pieces for. And I have this one and this one, so I can still make this. Not yet, but I can. So I'm going to upgrade it. And then I'm going to upgrade it. And just use these useless ones that I have 66 of to make it even better. There. So when I'm ready and I have the pieces for this guy, which is just a poison sack. So any poison monster can give me this. I can make that. And then I'll just have to wait for that monster before I make another version. But other than that, what else do we have? We have this... Oh, I finally got a... I can actually finally make this bone thing. And I'm going to use just regular bones, because I have a whole bunch of them. And now, you can see here, got a big one here. This one's slightly big, too. And this one turns into a dragon weapon, so it has the dragon element. Very interesting element. Uh, 180 ain't bad. I can't get those pieces yet, though. And what's over here? I don't even know what that is. I can also get this weapon, which can turn of one of two weapons. Oh, you know what? Yes. Um, use these that we have 24 of. And then, oh, I can make both. Electricity or fire. Electricity or fire. Electric. Okay, important things. You'll notice in the stats there's attack, there's sharpness, there's elements, yes. you also notice there's a defense bonus and there's an affinity. Affinity is your critical hit chance, basically. So, this one has a negative critical, this one does not, and it does more elemental damage. So I'm going to make this, plus the monster it comes from is really cool. So, other than that, anything else? Anything else? No. Well, let's see if I can upgrade this bow gun. Oh, I can, actually. Wait a minute. I'm going to make it slightly better. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter. Just use one of these. I've made it slightly better. Did that change the ammo? Slightly, I think. I think the deal is it can use slightly more of certain ammos. Yeah. All right, we're gonna go. I'm sorry about that. I get easily distracted by weapon porn. Let's go. Let us uh, deal with this uh, bunny rabbit. Now, you want to make sure you grab those quests that have the red uh, symbols next to them because, yeah, that's uh, that's what's gonna get us to the next rank. More dangos. More dangos. Thank you. The Kimura. I calculated. Wait, I was looking at the wrong word for some reason. Uh, uh, feats, weakener, defender, I'm fine with that. And I got all three, very good. Alright, let's shoot a bunny in the face. I am not, I am not being silly, we're shooting a rabbit in the face today. Okay, I went hunting for some food and came across a Lagombi. Not try to get eaten by that thing. Hunter, do you think you could take care of it for me? Does a Lagombi actually eat meat? 
this is a legitimate question because it is a bunny rabbit. It is a bear bunny, but it's still a bunny rabbit. Yes, it lives in the icy cold areas, so why are you bugging it? An abominable beast does whatever it wants. Well, it does bunny stuff. It is both. It is a fusion. I love how dramatic it is, Silver Slider, for a bunny rabbit whose main attack is throwing snow at you. <laughs> like, that is ridiculously silly. Then again, people, like, regular people would probably get super bodied, but, like, um... In the Monster Hunter world, where you could jump like a hundred feet and be completely fine, um, I don't think that bunny rabbit matters too much. <laughs> like here, I'm gonna show you what I mean. Jump! And my knees are okay. Let's go. Let's kill a bunny. And there's, a, there's a great baggie here. So, um, if we're lucky, you could actually get two monsters to meet and they'll fight. And you could actually ride monsters if they're in a stun state and Nine times out of ten, monsters fight. Well, no, not nine times out of ten. Ten times out of ten, monsters fight. One of them's gonna end up stunned. You can ride it to attack the other monster. It's great. Hey, okay, let me grab that. That increases my health. See, you just saw my health bar went up. Okay, we want to go this way. Thank you. Just keep going up. Get these bones. Bones are very important. Now you see this grass? You want to destroy this grass. I don't know if I can, but there we go. Because birds hide in the grass. But I wasn't sure if I could break it because I've never hit grass with a gun before. It's kind of hilarious. But alright, we got a Lagambi. It's being messed with by a bunch of baggies. I'm going to get the cluster bomb ready. And I'm going to show you what this does. Now you see the circle? I think you can understand what it means. Take that, bunny. I saw you coming. Eat this. There we go. This is gonna be easy. Let's just move out of the way. He needs to be distracted a little bit by something else that is not me. There we go. Cluster bomb, thank you. Now you may notice it's not doing as much damage as the great sword. Never does. <laughs> but that's fine. I still love the the heavy bow gun, because it's actually my first weapon, so I do have a connection to it. But yeah, we're gonna use heavy machine gun. And I already broke its head. Heavy machine gun. But yeah, as you can see here, when I hit its head, I get the orange, so that's the critical hit, so... Obviously, you want to go for the weak point. Ow. Alright, give me that. Pull the gun back out. Okay, there we go. Ooh, knocked him off of, out of the air, so very good. Now I'm going to put the sticky ammo. Now, for sticky ammo, you want to try to aim for the head because it counts as, like, stun damage. Because, yeah, it's explosion, so... You want to try to hit the head as much as you can to get the stuns off. And also, it does decent damage. You want to use, uh... You want to use sticky ammo whenever you can, really. Okay, I'm going to do some spread ammo now, which is your shotgun. Now, this one doesn't do nearly as much, but you see, see, you get a good shot in the head, at least you can get some uh, decent damage off. But, like, each shot is doing, like, around, uh, depending where you shoot it, close to, like, 20 bucks. 20 damage. I don't know why I said 20 bucks there. But if I crit, it's doing about, like, 34 a shot, because it's, like, f uh, four pips. Now we have Pierce Ammo. What that one does is it goes through monsters. So you're going to get multiple hits. So with Pierce Ammo, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to try to like shoot through the thickest part of them. So if he's on all fours, that's even better. But if not, you want to you know, you wanna aim for the booty, not the head, obviously. Okay. Need my oars. Okay, where is he? There he is. So I'm going to just do this. I'm going to see if he sits down. Sit down, dude. Okay, see? Oh, I only hit it two times, because unfortunately it's not a very big monster. Let's see here. Oh, come on. 
Yeah, no. Piercing ammo is good for like the giant monsters, but this guy's too small. So we're gonna get some normal ammo out. This, as the name suggests, is just your basic bullet. Now, some guns actually like shoot multiple bullets at once. I want to say it's it's something that's a light bow gun, but I think heavy bow gun has some that does that. But yeah, we're just gonna shoot them. And you might notice above my ammo count, that's that blue bar. That's for the machine gun. So it has loaded somewhat, so I'm gonna just use it again. It's not fully charged, but I don't need it to be. So there you go. I have gunned a, a, a bunny to death, as is tradition. I still trying to figure out what button makes that disappear faster. <laughs> and there you go. Hunter rank two is practically done. We just need to do the urgent mission that comes from beating three hunter rank two missions. So hey, we could get to hunter rank three by the end of this episode. That is lovely. Give me that. Which means if I keep doing this, if you guys like Monster Hunter stuff, uh, next episode I might be able to make it to high rank, because I think high rank starts at 4. Well, I know it starts at 4 in the hub. I'm wondering... I think it starts at 4 in this version, too. I don't, what am I doing? Oh, that's what I'm doing. I hold the button. There we go. Am I missing any ammo? Hmm, got the slicing ammo. It's good for cutting off pieces. And the wyvern ammo, which is just an explosion. <laughs> I should have used the wyvern ammo earlier, but whatever. Mission complete. Mission complete. <laughs> Alright, I'm going back to the sword now because I don't like wasting bullets. But on occasion, I will use the uh, bow guns, either the light or heavy bow gun, because I do personally like them. It's 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 a more defensive way of playing because you could just stay away from the enemy, especially with light bow gun, because you can run. But yeah, no, right now we'll go with great sword because it, it's letting these go by faster. I mean, not that it's taking long, but damage numbers are not quite the same. Racking up the notches, uh, they need your help. Uh, let me see here. And then everyone is Kimura, squirt whatever. Don't keep the boy waiting. So someone wants me to do something for them. So, um, oh, Buddy Handler, he's in the Buddy Plaza, which, well, I'll show you. It's over there, but I'm lazy, so we're teleporting. So it's the guy we get buddies from. Ah, oh, thank you for coming. Remember how uh, Yomigiri's supplier got held up in the ruins? Well, I'm not sure, but more monsters have been acting around the ruins. They get fidgety when the rampage starts. Rampage is a thing that happens. Plus, the merchant mentioned a strange presence. Talking about ghosts. Anyway, the canines, which are the palmuts, and the felines, which are the palicos, heard about it, ran out to hunt down this presence, and there's an Aknasam. Uh, has shown up. Please take care of it. Aknasam is a interesting monster it is a bird it kind of like has a fighting style that you could say is like it dances it it, it dance fights you kind of like a what you expect a crane to do to you well let me see here let me get the yeah the kimura cleaver and let's just fix this thank you i don't want to carry extra stuff if i don't have to because that means i can grab more stuff all right urgent business let's go Aknosam. It, it fans its crest before it charges. It is a firebird. I can handle it. More subquests. I try to go for ones that give you extra items, like this monster bone. All right. Last hunt of the day. Hunt of the Aknasam. Hunt an Aknasam. Yes, I'm not going to forget to eat. It makes it faster. Give me more dango. Don't say it like that. Polisher. Weakener. Let's go. The weakener is definitely going to happen. Yep, there you go. Alright guys, let's kill a bird. It shoots fire out of its mouth and it dances. Let's do this. I'm sorry, Hunter. The buddy said that there were ghosts at the shrine ruins and ran off. I'm so worried about them with that Aknasam around. Can you hunt it while I go look for them? Sure, kid. Alright, let's do this. Aknasam is that one near the front by the Kappa. It, it's... It, I, I like the art. Yep, he's already dancing. Resembling a parasol, but in truth a monstrous bird. Indeed. Be wary of its figure and its vibrant hue. 
That means it's poisonous. <laughs> it's not poisonous, but vibrant hue, you know. <laughs> I wouldn't call that a rain of bug blood. It's literally eating ants. Well, they're not called ants, but you know what I mean. They're eating minor bugs. That's kind of creepy. Don't look at me like that. I'm going to kill you quickly now. <laughs> Grab all the free stuff. Thank you. Let's go. Alright, Goblin. Let's go hunt a horrific bird that shoots fire and dances. And also apparently has the creepiest freaking smile. Like, I don't know what to call that. I want to say that was a serial killer smile. I could be wrong. I could be just overly judgmental. But that man definitely has bodies in his basement. Alright, let's go. Just keep grabbing all the wonderful things I come across. The herbs, which make potions. The berries that make bullets. Just the bones for weapons and armor. Then again, I think some bullets are made out of bones, too. All right, let's go. Almost there, almost there. Grab this. Yeah, latch berries, make pierce ammo, herbs for potions. Give me that bird, thank you very much. These are bomb badgy. If you hit them, they explode because they are filled with nitroglycerin. Here, let me show you. It's kind of hilarious. You can actually use them as a projectile against your enemy. And I have killed the badger. And now I carve the badger. Because every monster you can kill and possibly get things off of. Bugs are a little harder because sometimes they explode. But if you poison the bugs and they die from poisoning, you can carve them too. Usually. Alright, let's do this bird. Jump, jump, and slash. Now I charge. Don't care, just gonna keep going. Two, three. Oop. I honestly didn't expect him to hit, but he is a dancer. That's my fault. One. Now, see, he's doing his fire thingy. Charge again with my shield up because... Come on, come on down to my level. There we go. I want to turn the other direction, please. Oh, there we go. Now he's where I'm aiming. There we go. One and... There we go. I already broke a piece of him. Not his head, though, apparently. I broke a wing, maybe? I'm not sure. I'd have to take a closer look at the body when I'm done. Pwah. Ow. Don't hit me with your big, dumb head. There we go. That was definitely a wing. Nope. Haha. -ha. I know your attacks. Unfortunately, making me do that over and over again puts me in the corner, but it's fine. Ooh! That dude just flat out missed! Ugh. Oh, come on, stop it. Thank God I have a thing that lets me jump. And it's that bug right there. You can use that to get another charge. See? Look at that meter on the bottom. Now I have three of them. Bring it on, bird! We're going to bash you in with my sword. There's nothing you can do. I will destroy you with my sword. There we go. That's brain damage. I missed because I'm a master at missing. Ugh. Okay. Give me these mushrooms. They'll make me feel better. Come on, keep going. What are you gonna do? He is being a coward! Goblin, come on. Alright, so now we need to go further up. Because the bird is being a bird. Yep, there you go. You can see him. He's landing. He's going to appear in here. Oh, you didn't even go that far. You're just making me run because you want to annoy me. Also, look at that sack. This guy's filled with heel juice, but still, lovely sack. Alright, what are you doing? Oh, I think it's looking for food. Or it's running away. I can't tell. There we go. Take that, bird. I do not fear birds. Bring it on. He's already ready to die. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sorry, random bullfango. You got in the way. I'm gonna carve you now. <laughs> there we go. Bring on, bird! Haha. -ha. 
I'm the master of just slamming things really hard. Master of big number. Bring it on. Hwa! Yes, I can combo with my sword. I just prefer not to. This is how I, like, fight faster. I could do that over and over again, but the damage numbers aren't as big. See? It's good for dealing with small things. Ugh! Okay, apparently that bird had enough of my business. Fine, big swings. Eh. I will kill this butterfly to get stronger. Thank you. Ow. Alright, I'm on fire. So you want to roll over a few times? There you go. I think the water actually put it out instantly, but um, if that was the case, water puts it out with one roll, but if you don't have water, I think it takes three rolls to stop burning. That, or you could use items to stop being on fire, but that's kind of a waste. Just, you know, actually just roll, dude. Don't waste items on being on fire. Stop, drop, and roll. Everyone knows about this. And apparently this is the biggest one I've killed. Interesting. Uh, where am I? I wish I could save myself. Nothing personal, buddy. Indeed, I'm. I just want your delicious meat for my weapons. <laughs> yes, I'm not gonna eat this. I just want its feathers for my weaponry. And scales, cause look at him. He's a scaly boy. Look at this creature. So well designed. It's 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 the evolution of the dinosaur. Goblin, get your butt off of its head. Let's see here. Yeah, no, I effed this guy's day up. I even broke his tail accidentally. Both wings are broken. His head crest is broken. I don't know if his chest is broken. I don't think so. So I wonder what was that first thing I broke when I hit it. And I don't think the legs can take damage like that. They don't look like it. Either way, I think we did good today, folks. And I, I know I, 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 this is probably the best decision I made. You know why? Because it's one more day of not playing Resident Evil 6, and I appreciate that. All right. Well, let's see what this has gotten us, and then we'll end it here. But it is 7.30 at night. Why are you out here, ice cream man? If you can hear that, that's hilarious. But yeah, there's a ice, ice cream man just coming on by. Actually, no, this is Texas. That's the, that's the, um, Paleta man. Ah, oh, back already? Good hunting! One problem, they got another over at the Shrine Ruins. Villagers are spooked. Ghosts, yada yada. Keep an eye out. Now we got three-star quests. Alright, so we got three-star quests, and... We want to go to the Buddy Plaza because this cat wants to give us a ticket. We can use tickets for discounts and stuff. Oh, and the Lagney Apples, which uh, you make things better for the cats, like when they're doing things. Okay, what do you want? Major Crisis, Ingredient Supplier was attacked by monsters. She's going to give me a mission, isn't she? Yep, Supply one. So the, the, some people do give you missions. If you do those, they like uh, affect the world like this, or they, where they can like, uh, like for example, they'll give you more dongo choices. Some people will give you weapon designs and stuff like that. Oh, hello. Yes, I understand. I beat him up. I've got the three star. Yes, I understand. Thank you, pretty lady. All right. So next episode, we have several options to choose from. But as you can see here, this is the special mission for dongo ingredients. So we have the Royal Ludroff. So we have SpongeBob. Uh, we have Great Roggy. We have uh, someone who chews too much chewing tobacco. Uh, we have Baroth. We have the Mud Tank. Uh, Kulu Yaku, chicken who likes to steal your eggs. And Tetranadon, uh, the big old Sumo Kappa. So next episode, we're going to deal with a few of those guys. But hey, I thank you for joining me today. And Goblin thanks you too. Um, if you do want to see more Monster Hunter stuff, I am more than willing to do it. I actually bought Monster Hunter Try for the Wii. So, like, I could do more episodes of this. I could do Monster Hunter Try, Monster Hunter World. I don't know. Whatever you guys like. If you are interested, as always, leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe if you haven't already. But, hey, you guys have a good evening, morning, uh, afternoon, wherever you are. I thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye for now, guys.